Good morning, everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been promising to tell everybody about how I got the name Phone Widow. And it makes me very vulnerable to tell this story, so it's a hard one to make. But I'm going to get it done now, and you know, the point is, 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 when things happen to us, sometimes we think they're just happening to us, and they're not. They happen to a lot of people, so if this video helps you, I'm so grateful. So, as always, um, the comments aren't open. <clears throat> I'm getting settled in here, but I'm not completely settled, so I'm not by my phone all the time. And I do want to answer everybody's questions, or even hear your thoughts, so... Um, my email address is phonewidow at gmail.com. All right, so how I got the name Phone Widow. I met this man. There's always a man, right? That's the thing. There is always a man. <laughs> Anyways, he swept me off my feet. I mean, I'm 56 now when this happened. This was like two years, almost two years ago definitely swept me off my feet I had sworn off men I didn't want anymore but he danced into my life and I felt this connection with him it was like I had always known him you know and um really in my whole life I'd never felt anything like that before and there were red flags, and one of the big big ones was he was always on his phone. But being who I am, I fell hard, and I fell fast, and I fell deep. And I believe this man is my divine connection or my soulmate. I still do. But after everything that's happened, I'm backing up in... in um, I'm in Michigan, so, yeah, I backed up. But anyways, he was on his phone all the time. Um, he did give me time in the beginning, time for me, but we ended up um, in another state to take care of some of his family business. And uh, that's when it, all the bad stuff started. I'm telling you, it, it, uh, he was on his phone more and more and more. He started playing video games online, the phone games, and um, I'd never seen him do that before. But I started noticing that while he's playing the game, he was talking as well. So he was video chatting with someone else. I could actually see a woman's face. I could hear a woman's voice. And he kept telling me that um, I was crazy. Of course, I knew I wasn't crazy because I don't just see things that aren't there and I don't hear things that aren't there. But believing in him and the connection that I felt and, and feel with him, I let it slide. And um, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have left sooner. But anyways, I started writing about this to get it off my mind. Um, it crushed me. I couldn't believe he was doing this after everything we'd been through and everything we'd shared and the relationship we had together and the closeness and the passion. I've never been with anybody where there was so much passion, um, so much wanting, you know, and, and it was from both sides. But it started to dawn on me that he had somebody else, but it was somebody else from his past. Um, that he had probably broken up with and then met me and when he got back to Louisiana well okay I'll give it away Louisiana um, they reconnected okay so you know what do you do you know having some oh I could just cry but I'm not gonna cry about it anymore you know being me <clears throat> I'm going to walk away because if that's your true love, if that's who, le who you want to be with, um, you need to be with that person. I mean, I don't want to stand in the way of anybody's true love. That's just not my gig. 
But anyways, through the whole thing, I started writing. I started writing online and on the kick blog, <laughs> but I had to come up with a username. So, in Phone Widow popped into my mind. I mean, I had been made a widow by his phone. So, and it just stuck. So, yes, at our age, we can be vulnerable. Yes, at our age, we can fall for people who aren't right for us. Yes, we can fall for people who are confused about their lives. We just have to stay true to ourselves. That's the big deal right there is follow your heart. You know, if you feel, if you love somebody, don't be afraid to give that love. I mean, um, I went into hermit mode, like I said, for about four months and I went through the dark night of the, the soul and I'm happy that I left and I'm happy that I am where I am now. I mean, we, we've chatted in messenger a few times um we've you know we've connected we've seen each other in person blah 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 but um i'm adamant you know i'm standing up for myself now and it's like i love you um i believe there's a huge connection but i'm never going to be a third party ever i'm number one or i'm not at all so and that i guess that's the message that i want to give you guys you know it doesn't matter what age you are it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how smart you are. These people will walk through your life and you'll fall for them. And it's a great feeling and experience the feeling, enjoy the feeling so that those memories are the ones that you truly remember. And you know, if it ends up a bad situation and they break your heart, deal with it. Just feel it, roll in it, grieve in it. Don't be afraid to let them know how you feel, but only let them know how you felt once, how they made you feel one time, and um, walk away. Because if it was truly meant to be, it will be. And if he truly is my divine partner, he will be back. And I'll welcome him with open arms, arms if he's changed. I guess, I don't know. It hasn't happened yet, because last time I seen him, he still had a third party, so I'll tell you what. Believe in yourself, love yourself, and I'll do videos on that and stand your ground. Because that one person that will love you like you want to be loved is out there. So don't waste your time on people that don't because you're just lengthening the time until you find the right one. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I hope this helped you. And again, my email is phonewidow at gmail.com.